फार्मा कंपनीज इन्वेंट न्यू ड्रग्स थ्रू द ड्रग डेवलपमेंट प्रोसेस विच इज अ वेरी कॉस्टली एंड टाइम कंज्यूमिंग प्रोसेस द प्रोसेस इन्वॉल्व प्री क्लिनिकल ट्रायल्स एंड क्लिनिकल ट्रायल्स विच इज बेसिकली टेस्टिंग द ड्रग ऑन एनिमल्स एंड ह्यूमन वॉलेंटियर्स टू असेस इट्स सेफ्टी एंड एफिकसी दिस प्रोसेस टेक्स अबाउट टेन टू ट्वेल्व ईयर्स ऑन एवरेज एंड कॉस्ट हंड्रेड्स ऑफ मिलियंस ऑफ डॉलर्स एंड इन लॉट ऑफ केसेस बिलियंस ऑफ डॉलर्स द फार्मा कंपनीज फाइल द पेटर्न्स फॉर दिस ड्रग which means that they are the only ones who can manufacture and sell the drug but when the patent on the drug expires other pharma companies can manufacture and sell the same drug this drug now known as the generic drug according to the us fda a generic drug is a medication created to be the same as an already marketed brand name drug in dosage form safety strength route of administration quality performance characteristics and intended use this means that if the original drug is a pill of 100 mg that has to be taken orally then generic drug will also be a pill of 100 mg taken orally simply put a generic drug is a copy of original innovator drug sold at much cheaper prices the generic drug which has the same active ingredient which is main component of any drug which has the same therapeutic effect on the body however there are things which can be different the generic version of the drug can have different excipients which are the inactive ingredients in the drug they can use different bulking agents stabilizers different flavors and different colors as a result the taste and appearance of the drug can be different than the original drug generic companies do not invest a lot of money into development of drugs their investment in research is limited to reverse engineering the drug and proving bioequivalence with the original drug Bioequivalence means that the drug is chemically the same as the original drug and has the same effects on the body. As a result, generic companies are able to offer the drug at a fraction of the price of the original drug. This phenomena is called as a patent cliff, where the revenues of innovator decline sharply upon the entry of generic competition. Generics can be broadly classified into four types: unbranded or commodity generics, branded generics, authorized generics and specialty generics unbranded generics are also known as commodity generics are the drugs that are sold just by the name of the api in the drug they are not differentiated products and do not have any branding or need any sort of marketing these are mostly brought by the institutions and governments who provide medication to the masses and don't want to pay premium for the brand name drug For example a government buying a large quantity of drug to distribute for free will have a commodity generic version going by the name of the drug itself like paracetamol branded generics are the exact same drug sold by pharma companies but with branding for example the most popular branded generics for paracetamol in india are crocin or dolo they are the exact same drug but the company can charge a premium for their brand as they also incur branding and marketing cost These drugs are mostly sold to the public rather than institutions as the public actually prefers brands and are willing to pay a small premium for assurance of quality. Specialty generics are generic versions of specialty drugs. Specialty drugs are high value drugs that are used to treat chronic and complex diseases. They could also be drug with complex delivery systems. These are very expensive drugs and their generic versions will also sell at higher cost than simple generics. Authorized generics are the exact same drug sold by the company that held a patent for it. A company will not discontinue the product just because the patent has expired. Instead, they will lower the price of the drug and sell it as authorized generics often for a slight premium over branded generics. Authorized generics are exactly same as original drugs with exact same excipients, shape and size. While innovative drugs have to file NDA which is new drug application post the successful completion of clinical trials generic companies have to find ANDA abbreviated new drug application it is called abbreviated because generic drug manufacturers do not have to perform clinical trials for their drugs and hence the process is much shorter companies file ANDAs under one of the four patent certifications also known as paragraphs Para 1 certification states that there are no listed patents for generic drug. In this case, FDA may approve the drug immediately. 
दीज ड्रग यूजली फेज अ लॉट ऑफ कॉम्पिटिशन एंड आर बेसिकली कमोडिटीज पैरा टू सर्टिफिकेशन स्टेट दैट द लिस्टेड पेटर्न फॉर द ड्रग हैज एक्सपायर्ड इन दिस केस टू द एफ डी ए मे अप्रूव द ड्रग इमीडिएटली एंड द कॉम्पिटिशन इन दिस ड्रग्स इज हाई एज वेल पैरा थ्री सर्टिफिकेशन स्टेट दैट द पेटर्न ऑन द लिस्टेड ड्रग हैज नॉट एक्सपायर्ड एंड विल एक्सपायर ऑन अ पर्टिक्युलर डेट इन दिस केस द एफ डी ए मे अप्रूव द ड्रग विथ एफेक्ट फ्रॉम द डेट ऑफ पेटर्न एक्सपायरी पैरा फोर सर्टिफिकेशन इज द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टंट आउट ऑफ दिस इन अ पैरा फोर फाइलिंग अ जेनेरिक कंपनी विल चैलेंज द पेटंट ऑफ द इनोवेटर स्टेटिंग दैट द पेटंट इज इनवैलिड एंड शुड नॉट हैव बीन ग्रांटेड इन द फर्स्ट प्लेस और दैट द जेनेरिक डज नॉट इन्फ्रिंज ऑन द पेटंट द फर्स्ट जेनेरिक कंपनी टू चैलेंज द पेटंट इन कोर्ट एंड विन इज ग्रांटेड वन एटी डेज ऑफ एक्सक्लूसिविटी टू मार्केट द ड्रग दिस मीन्स दैट नो कॉम्पिटिशन कैन एंटर द मार्केट फॉर सिक्स मंथ्स दिस इज एन इंसेंटिव गिवन बाय द एफ डी ए to the generic companies to take down fraudulent patents and thus greatly reduce the price of the drug this is a very profitable strategy that almost all indian generic companies have used in past in 2012 indian pharma companies were involved in at least 50% of para 4 litigations in us generics plays very important role in bringing down the cost of healthcare in poor and developing countries where people cannot afford the high cost of patented drugs Generic medicines have saved and improved lot of lives. Healthcare cost in developed countries have increased at very fast pace and wages have not kept up. Innovative drugs are very important to the advancement of the healthcare and being able to treat or cure diseases that could not previously. But when these drugs are first introduced to the market, they are out of reach of the people who do not have health insurance. generic drugs are important to bring down the prices of these drugs so that the masses have the access to it